the season five finale and Buzz Your Force and Zed will be discussing the popularity of zombies in the past decade that still goes on to this day. Happy Halloween! When the hell did we get all this stuff? Oh, we've had this stuff for a while, Boris. I've never seen it! Well, some of it's new, yeah, I mean, but no, Little Buzz is, is, uh, isn't new. I had him a couple years, and, uh, like, uh, these Reapers are new, that skull there is new. You remember that last year? Come on. I mean, either way, come on, it's a special occasion. It's Halloween. I don't remember any of this. I wasn't there last Halloween. The hell you weren't. You were right here, remember? I don't remember. We were talking about the, horror, the, the haunted history of Halloween and all the, you know, back in the saw and the pagan times in Ireland. You remember? I don't. Mine. Boris, I really think you need to lay off the booze. Hey, he was stoned last Halloween, he remembers. I don't... What was that? Zedge, what was that? Oh, oh, probably trick or treat. Oh, Hang trick on. or treat. I'll be back. How could, oh, oh how trick stupid or treat. Of me, how stupid of me. I knock it on the like, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? But Germany's got nothing on other world beer. Yay! Of course, I, I heard that door knocking. I thought some. I thought there was a bird, a woodpecker, peck on the back of your head. No, no, no. He flew south for the winter. For the winter, huh? It's still fall. Well, he has to get there early, I guess. But yeah, yeah head start. Yeah, well, I can't believe I forgot we were going to probably have trick or treaters. Yeah, I mean. It's Halloween, come on! It is said, Halloween! Yeah, but when, when you get so into the moment and you're just kind of having fun, partying, watching movies, I can I can understand why. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And, oh, it's been a wild year, though. I mean, I guess we all... I could use some beer, though, after all this. This is going to be a great way to celebrate oh, now. Everyone but, you know, some beer. A great mm. reason to celebrate right now. It's the Decade of the Dead. Ten years of zombification. I thought that... I thought the Decade of the Dead started in 1978. No, no, that's when Dawn of the Dead, you know, was made, you know, came out. That was, that's Dawn of the Dead, I mean. We're talking about the Decade, the 2010s. Oh, when yes. zombies became pop culture. I mean, they were everywhere, you couldn't avoid them. It was yeah. great. And we still can't be avoided. It's the zombie apocalypse, man. We took over. We did it. And we're here to stay. And the thing is, you know... We have, in fact, just took over, flourished. We're not going away. We are still a phenomenon, you know. Back, you know, being that it's Halloween here, you know, October 31st, remember that day? The Walking Dead premiered. Days gone by, the first episode. The tomb was open and we were shambling on out. Oh, it just feels great that we finally conquered the world, you know, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, Day of the Dead. I'm, I remember when that first time. premiered, but I was always more into the comics myself, the Walking Dead comic books. Ah, uh, Sam, I actually read the comics I watched. Oh, yeah, they're, uh, it was by uh, uh, Robert Kirkman. Uh, he did, like, some other stuff for Marvel and what, like, great, great writer. Um, anyways, hey. yeah, the, I mean, it first came out in the early 2000s, but it got real popular in the, around 2008, 9, or earlier than that even, 2007, I want to say. But it wasn't until maybe 2010-ish when it really caught on. You saw more and more people reading the comics because the TV show was on. And everyone was like, oh, hey, I want to check out the comics now. Oh, and they were great. I heard The TV show was great, but the comics were just, oh, they were amazing. Well, I've been getting a comic book collection here. But, you know, Daryl Dixon, I remember he said he wasn't even in the, comic, the comics at all. Is that true? Yeah, he wasn't a character. They just kind of threw him into the show because, yeah, and well, he he uh, he was trying out, uh, I forget the actor's name. Andrew Lincoln. Andrew Lincoln, that was uh, it. Yeah, he was trying for Rick. Yeah, Rick Grimes. Rick and, Grimes. Well, 
they liked him, but they ended up not taking him, so that's why we have Daryl Dixon, because they still wanted to give him a character. Yeah, so they got Andrew Lincoln, who says, Carl. Can't say Carl's name right. You try, say Carl. Try it, Boris. Carl. Carl. Okay, uh, Andrew Lincoln, I think, did a lot better there. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, he came, and, you know, and I will admit, now, when he's always shooting us in with that damn crossbow. Oh, We're going to get him. Bow. We're going to get me. Yo, they say that he and uh, he's going to eventually have a spinoff. You know, he's going to have a, a spinoff episode, a spinoff series, I should say. And Andrew Lincoln is going to be in the Rick Grimes movie, the Walking Dead movie. Oh, if anybody deserves it, it's him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I remember all that, though. I mean, they actually have, like, zombie paintball in Pittsburgh shooting at zombies. Yeah, zombie I remember paintball? seeing that all... Yeah, you were there, Boris, remember? No, I wasn't. I <laughs> just fucking with you. Oh, man, how would you like if we were... Yo, I'm going to tell you, they're shooting us with paintballs. It's really leaving good impact. If that's, you know, if that's okay to hit us with those paintballs and that hurts, you know, then we deserve to bite. You know, the people with the paintballs, the humans, if they can hurt us with a paintball, we can bite them and turn them in us. Wouldn't you say? Isn't that fair? Isn't that the act of fairness? Um, yeah. 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 Yo, know, shoot us, we'll bite you. Makes good sense. That's fair. Fair yeah. to me. Yo, and all the We're just trying to be here. True. Just trying to be here. We're here to, and we're here to stay, but I think I think the living are not quite ready to give up the road yet. But we're here, damn it. We're here. Right here. We're not going away. We're here to stay, man. But you know, all but another thing about big the zombie walks. Oh man. You remember World Zombie Day 2014? I, how could I forget that? Yeah, we didn't film that in there. We were just starting out, but yeah, we were up there. We met, you know, the cast of the It's Alive show, Professor MC Square. That's a great show, late night horror show they used to have here in Pittsburgh. It's a, it was, oh, it, was, it's, it made my Saturday nights. But yeah, it was great, you know, everybody's up there dressed as zombies, you know, and yeah, but yo, we got a picture of that too. Bring that up. Bring up that picture of me and Zitch. Well, Wow. wow! Look at that! Wow! You used to have a lot more flesh color. Yeah, I know. My hair was shorter. Man, I really, I really got a little more pale. Yeah. I guess I just took a while to decompose. Too many, oh. too many preservatives. I guess I had too much salt in my diet. And uh, some people just DK slow. I guess. I guess one way or another. Yeah, but you know, I'm wondering what this decade's gonna bring. Who knows? Oh. Uh, certainly not vampires. <laughs> certainly not. <laughs> Man, right. Hey, we'll be right back. Right back. So stay tuned. Well, happy Halloween. And oftentimes we have a segment every Halloween where we offer you some rules and regulations to help you have a fun-filled Halloween. Well, here's the rules for this year. Rule number one. If you're dressed as a zombie at the Halloween party, yeah, walk slow. Walk like a 1978 Dawn of the Dead zombie, but if you have to cross the street, run like a 2004 Dawn of the Dead zombie. We don't want you to be zombie roadkill. Rule number two, if you're gonna get stoned, bring plenty of snacks. You don't want you and your friends to get the munchies now, do ya? And rule number three, you're riding with somebody, you're too drunk, Please, go to the bathroom to throw up. Don't throw up in your buddy's car. Nobody wants to clean up your vomit. Well, there's the rules, and happy Halloween. Uh, we're back, and hey, Boris, you should go put on a pair of blue jeans, really. I would, but uh, they're in the dryer. Okay, I didn't. I knew how to turn that uh, dryer on. But yeah, you know, zombie novelties. What were your favorite zombie novelties, Sage? What was yours? So, if you're gonna ask me about zombie novelties, I'd say, you notice how many zombie video games there were in the uh, 2010s? More than I can count. What about you, Boris? Easy. Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. No, no, we're talking about the last decade. He's yeah, he was like exclusively. Yeah, he's been, he's, been, he's been around for a while. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He has made 
uh, The Lords of Salem, uh, 2013. Uh, Don't forget that that movie with Sid Haig. Yeah. Uh, oh, Dream yeah, from uh, Hell and 31. Yep. Okay, okay. That, that's fair, that's fair. Fair enough. Okay. Well, you know, one of my favorite zombies always are the zombie Chia Pet. The Chia Pets? The, oh, there's a couple oh of them. my goodness. Oh, yeah. Are you serious, Buzz? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they, come on. They, were saw, they had this really cool commercial, like like a news report, the zombies are coming, and they're showing like footage of like VHS footage of the zombies walking through the woods. You know, it's a really, really cool commercial. Yeah, you have to look up one. See if it's on YouTube. Right? Oh, I mean, like, yeah, they're cool, but of all the things in the 2010s, like the Chia Pets, that's number one for you. Ch -ch -ch Chia. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Chia Pets, I just thought it looked awesome, man. They still make them. I'm going to go get one. Ah, that's fair, I guess. Mm. Don't go eating the chia plants when they grow, man. No promises. Don't you do that. No promises. What can we put on there to, to, to repel that from? What do you think? To, to repel that chia? No, no, no. To repel him from eating the plants off. Uh, he'd do it. He'd, he'd try. Uh, he'd I'd do soap. it. Soap. I'd do it again. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't go anywhere near soap. Okay, okay. That's, that's, that's a good point. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you what, though. The Walking Dead has become a staple of October. You know, back on The Walking Dead, you know, every October, it's just like, that sort of makes, you know, the season right there. You know, October comes, and then it, it's like, they would always, you know, when they have their uh, AMC uh, Fear Fest, mm -hmm. you know, they would often uh, bump off a lot of the movies, you know, to play every previous episode of The Walking Dead. Now, I will admit, it would be nice, yeah, to be able to, you know, sort of see more movies, you know, like they used to have, because there's quite a lot of Walking Dead episodes. Yeah, but still, at the same time, you know, I'm, it's going to seem really odd, isn't it? You know, no Walking Dead on Sunday nights, you know, no more uh, Chris Hardick. Excuse me, Chris Hardwick. <laughs> Hardick. <laughs> I, I remember that episode. Hardest, I have the hardest time getting his name right. Hardwick. Hardwick. I, and I did. I thought his name was Hardick. But, you know, he always comes on and does Talking Dead afterward. They have their after show, you know. But, yeah, I mean, it seems, it's going to be seen, it's going to be so odd, you know, without The Walking Dead every October. With that in memoriam on Talking Dead afterward, everybody who died, you know. Yeah, it truly really was a staple. I mean, like, even even if, like, it's still in our hearts, it's still going to be weird not seeing it on screen yeah. anymore. That is true. That is true. I mean, but, yeah, it's, but they're getting all these spinoffs now. I guess they're going to have, like, a, Compilation series, or Twilight Zone, like with different actors every day, every uh, every episode. Oh, really? Really? Uh, I didn't know of, that. Do, I do, do, do. Tales of the Walking Dead, something like that, if I remember correctly. Why not talk? Why not heads of the Walking Dead? Heads. Heads what? of the Walking Dead. The Talking Heads. Guess we'll say. Oh boy. <laughs> but you know, you know, here's the thing. You know how. You know, when Gene Roddenberry made Star Trek and then had the next generation and then uh, Deep Six Nine or all, all that, you know. Well, here's the thing. The Walking Dead has become pretty much, you know, the Star Trek of the horror genre. Because now they're going to have, because they already have Fear of the Walking Dead. Now that's going to still be on. Maybe that will take the place, perhaps. I don't know. But, you know, at the same time, all these, like, like the Daryl Dixon spinoff, you know, and there's going to be, you know, all this great, great shit they're gonna make, you know, it's really become, you know, the Star Trek of, well, of horror. Could you imagine a Star Trek spinoff with zombies? Ah, that'd be pretty cool, like, instead of Klingons and Romulans are fighting zombies. Oh, I mean, like, the Klingons will be there and all that, but, I mean, now they're back. They're back? You mean, uh... From outer they're... space! Oh! Yeah! Oh, wait, you mean zombie Klingon, is that what you mean? Yes, yes. Oh, what do you okay. think I was talking about? Ah, uh, I I don't know, really. But that sounds like a might be a cool idea. Yeah. A yeah. cool idea. Yeah, but you know, that this uh, this is just proof right here. The zombies are here, and Walking Dead is still going to stay, even though the main series may be being canceled. There's going to be a Daryl Dixon movie, or no, no, uh, Rick Grimes movie, mm -hmm. excuse me. You guys are confusing me. But there's going to be a Daryl Dixon movie anyway at some point, right? Yeah. yeah eventually, I'm sure. It has to be. Yo, but we're not, it's not going away. It is not going away. It's going to stay here. Right? What? Oh, look, it's Diablos. Hi, Diablos. Ugh. Don't you hide Diablos, him. Oh, why not? He's, he's good friends with us, right? 
well, well, well. Celebrating your decade of the dead. <laughs> hey man, we're talking about The Walking Dead. In 2021, they're going to have their last season, last episode. We're celebrating our decade of the dead here, man. Yeah, come on, let us have our time. Come on. Yeah, I heard about that, Buzzkiller. I heard all about that. The Walking Dead is coming to its close soon. Had a fun decade, didn't ya? Well, yeah, of course you did. But my kind is calling the shots now. Trust me, your disgusting, unclean kind is not going to hold a candle to us. The Walking Dead is... Huh, it's just finally tripped over its own shoelaces. What we do in the shadows is by far superior. What we do in the shadows? That can't hold a damn candle to a fucking walking dead man. I've seen what you do in the shadows and it is a sin. I wanna know. Whoa, 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 what the hell do you mean you're superior kind? Yeah, man, I mean, we, we nailed the past decade, and we're going to continue to nail this decade, too, man. And the one after that, and the one after that's the zombie motherfucking apocalypse, man. I can't believe this. Dude, come on, man. You are far, far below my highly intelligent kind. My kind reigns supreme over your kind. You see, I am smarter the new creatures? I look better than you creatures. I obviously smell better than you creatures. <laughs> but yeah, celebrate right now because your kind is gonna be forgotten. The vampires are out of the coffin. It's our reign. It is ours now. <laughs> oh, this is getting ridiculous. If you want to go out with the gas, then so be it. Boris. Boris. Hey, that Him. is inflammable, right? Because zombies can't afford, but, um... Uh, Boris, you're going to have a hernia, man. Zombies can't afford. He absorbs, we absorb everything. Boris, what do you think of that? A fart joke without the fart. <laughs> it's pathetic. But hey, you freaks revel right now. Because my kind is taking over. <laughs> you motherfucker, we're gonna get you, man. We're gonna get you! We're gonna get you, you motherfucker! Why do we even hang out with this asshole anyways? Boris, he took off. Boris, come on! It worked, Boris. It worked. Come on, get come on. Come on. Uh, Look at this shit. Well, never mind what he says, the zombies are still here. We are not going away. Happy Halloween. Yo, you stay zombified and get diseased and... Ah, stop fuck with those vampires, man. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck them. You alright, Boris? What day is it? It's still Halloween. That means I haven't missed it! Quick, what? Zed, buy me the largest goose you can find! I'm Quick. on it! Go, um... Merry Christmas, everyone! What the actual motherfuck? <laughs>